All right, going to show some blatant in-your-face occult symbolism in the Disney cartoon, a Disney Illuminati propaganda cartoon known as Gravity Falls. This is just blatantly in-your-face, but it's subliminal. Because that's how the Jesuit Luciferian Illuminati runs. They're very subliminal. They put things in subliminally, so there can be something that's right in your face, but then you don't pick up on it. Because that's how Satan operates. He's very subtle. He's more subtle than any beast of the field. I believe it's um, Genesis chapter 2 talks about that. Or Genesis, sorry, Genesis chapter 3 verse 1 talks about the serpent is more subtle than any beast of the field. That's how Satan operates. Genesis chapter 3 verse 1. Go look it up. And this cartoon of Gravity Falls is just again showing how Illuminati Hollywood is slipping in these symbols, these Illuminati signs and symbols into their cartoons and into their content to subliminally program people to get their mind focused, get, basically they prepare the way for the Antichrist, to get them ready for the Antichrist, which is the, the goal of the Jesuit-led Illuminati, to bring in the Antichrist. And of course, you know the whole biblical process, the book, the book of Revelation, the Antichrist comes, you know, the time of Jacob's trouble, then of course Jesus Christ comes back at the end of the time of Jacob's trouble, because, and by the way, Christians get taken out before that, okay, there is no, the post-trip rapture is a lie, okay, pre-trip rapture is truth. Christians get taken out before, but of course the Antichrist will bring in the New World Order prophesied in Revelation 13. And that's the goal of the Jesuit-led Illuminati, to program people via these cartoons and via these kids' programs. Hence why they're called TV programs. But I'm going to show these pictures from this cartoon of Gravity Falls of this blatantly in-your-face Illuminati symbolism. But So here's the first picture. This is a screenshot from the cartoon. You see right there, Disney XD. And then you have, literally, just right in your face, one of the characters is an Illuminati triangle with the all-seeing eye right in the middle. The all-seeing pagan eye of Horus. The occult Luciferian symbol of eye of Horus. Right there in your face. But you see, you don't pick up on it because it's, it's meant to be a funny joke. Oh, just a funny joke. It's just a cartoon. Look how cute that is. You know? Because, again, Satan's more subtle than any beast of the field. He's very subtle and sly, just like any snake would. Hence why Satan comes as a snake in the book of Genesis chapter 3 because he's very subtle. Here's the next picture of this cartoon of Gravity Falls where they have a picture of a chart and it has again the character with the Illuminati all-seeing eye, the triangle, right there blatantly in your face for everyone to see. So, so, subliminal Illuminati package, subliminal Illuminati messaging right there. Sorry, it's like 3 o'clock in the morning. I just had to do this video, had to, do this video to just get that message out there to show this is the kind of propaganda that Illuminati Disney puts in their films. Here's another picture of this cartoon of Gravity Falls where you have the, again, the all-seeing eye of Horus, and then you have the other main character, the Illuminati uh, triangle character, and then you have also this pagan symbol of this trichatra. Trichatra, it's a trichatra. I hope I'm saying that word right, I forget how you say it. But it's a, or I think you say it tricetra, but it basically is a witchcraft symbol slipped in there right blatantly in your face. So you got the Illuminati symbol and you got the witchcraft symbol right there. See, again, this is how subtle Satan is. Okay, You don't pick up on it because you think it's just a friendly kids cartoon. But just, they're slipping in these Luciferian pagan symbols, these Luciferian Antichrist symbols into their cartoons. Here's the final picture. Screenshot, I guess you could say, of one of the other characters sitting in front of a window with the Illuminati all-seeing eye of Horus, and you know how you know how it's called the all-seeing eye of Horus. Well, it's symbolized by it's always watching him, the all-seeing eye of Horus, kind of like how the New World Order under the Antichrist will always be watching you. You know, you have to take that mark. If you don't take that mark, you're going to be hunted down like an outlaw. Revelation chapter 20 verse 4 shows that people who don't take the mark will get beheaded by the Antichrist. So you got that picture right there showing the Illuminati all-seeing eye, seeing him, watching him, as he's, as he's reading. So, those are just some blatant in-your-face programming of the satanic Illuminati Luciferian propaganda into these so-called kids' cartoons, because Satan is very sly, sly and subtle. So, he's, he's like a snake. That's why he is a snake in, in the Garden of Eden, because that's how, that's how snakes operate. So don't be deceived by Illuminati Disney. This is the kind of propaganda they slip into their kids' cartoons all the time. This is all over Hollywood, by the way, too. It's not just one isolated example. It's all over the place in Hollywood. It's run by the satanic Jesuit brand Luciferian Illuminati. So anyway, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.